Krukenbush. We will be making a tower of cream pastry with caramel and whipped cream. My pants are wet. Wow. How did we end up here? It's all thanks to AI. Thanks for not taking our jobs. Yet. Anyway, I asked ChatGPT to give me the most difficult dessert recipe and this is what I got. So without further ado, let's roll baby. How did we end up here? Well, on my last AI cooking video where I made a cheap and meh pasta, one of you commented that I should make a super complex recipe. So here we are. What is AI? Well, if you've been living under a rock, it's mostly a marketing term used by huge car So without further ado, let's start with the recipe. Okay. So the first part is not that difficult. I'm no stranger to cream pastry. That's why I think I will not fuck this up. So to start off, get a pot and pour in your water, which is a cup of water. Add in your butter, which is half a cup. Whoa, sh that was stupid of me. Oh my God. Wish I had a brain. At least it's just water. Anyway, nothing happened here. Everything is fine. Don't do it in this order. Then we'll add like quarter of a teaspoon of salt, I think it says. Now we wait. The butter should melt into a beautiful, beautiful butter and water mixture. And then we will add in our flour. Also, it is suggested to use a wooden spoon for this. So I don't know, maybe it tastes better that way. Everything is on medium heat. Melty, melty. Great, the butter is melted. Now let's Let's wait for the mixture to boil and it's already starting to bubble up. I can see a lot of bubbles. Now it's the time when we add all of our flour. So just dump it in and start mixing until a small fond on the bottom forms. You'll see. I'll show you. So mix a little bit. Get over here. Now we add in the flour. All of it like so and start mixing quickly 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 until a bowl forms maybe lower the heat a bit keep mixing don't stop mixing shit you can see a ball like so formed and there's a fond forming on the bottom that's when you know you have to kill off the heat and uh, and transfer into a big ass bowl get a bowl there we go just transfer everything like so now let's wait for it to cool down because if we crack in our eggs, the eggs are just gonna boil. That's not good. Leave this dough ball somewhere cool, like 10-15 minutes. See you soon! Perfect. Now the pastry, well, it's not a pastry yet, but the dough has cooled off. Now we can add eggs one at a time. So that's very important. One at a time. If you have a stand mixer, you should use that. It's way easier, but I'm gonna do this by hand because well, because I don't have a stand mixer. Anyway, so we crack in one egg and we start mixing. Now, what's gonna happen is that the dough, as you can see, is gonna separate. It's not gonna stick together. And you're gonna be like, what the hell? Did AI just lie to me? Well, no. The thing is that you have to mix, mix until the dough starts sticking back together. It's not gonna be easy at times. And that's why this recipe is difficult, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I hope I don't get burned with caramel. Oh yeah, it's stuck on my finger. Anyway, so yeah, you can see the egg is fully incorporated. The mixture starts to stick together again. That's when we know we can add another egg. Time for the egg number two. One hand. Nice. And it's the same thing again. At first, it took only like, what, a minute to mix everything back together. Later on, it's gonna be way more difficult. I think I'm gonna regret my decision of using this bowl. We'll see. Yeah, everything is on like a slip and slide, just moving everywhere. Now it's time for egg number three. My favorite number. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good workout. That's pretty hard. I mean, the dough is pretty tough. It's like one cohesive thing. This is where we at our last egg. Also, this might be the time to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or it's 400 degrees Fahrenheit, isn't it? Nope. And final egg. There we go, finally together. Now we're gonna transfer the whole dough into a piping bag so we get evenly sized cream pastries. If you don't have a piping bag, don't worry, you can cut like a hole in a regular plastic bag. So let's get a piping bag. Yeah, this will be perfect. We can set it in a tall glass, like so, so it doesn't run away. And just start putting it in. This will leave a lot of dough on the sides of the bag, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So get it all in there, because it's precious. My precious. Excellent! Now I have my dough in a piping bag. All that is left to do is get a sheet pan. 
line it with parchment paper but before we do that we're gonna glue it on here how are we gonna do that is we're just gonna add small pots of dough on each side once the dough bakes it's gonna be easy to remove but for now it's gonna act as glue add our parchment paper glue it on like so so it doesn't move and we're gonna do the same for this sheet bag now it's time to make our pastries try to make them as even as possible leave some room between them because they're gonna expand a lot later on we're gonna like remove cones on top with maybe a bit of water on the finger because as you can see it sticks to the finger you don't do that so it's gonna take some water and make them even so let's continue doing that and then we'll throw it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and we'll see how that goes this one is done. Let's just wet our fingers and brush all the peaks like so. There we go. Now let's do another batch. This time I hope I'll leave more space. Will I learn from my own mistakes? That is the question. Ooh, the oven is ready. Ooh, air trap. Excellent. Now it goes into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So let's do that. Some of them puffed up a little bit more than others well, maybe because heat goes up i don't know when they get golden brown it's time to go okay the pastries are golden brown now it's time to remove them the other ones are still not but these ones are good it puffed up a bit more than expected some of them did now let them cool off completely before we move on to the next step it's gonna take like 30 minutes or so so i'm gonna remove the other batch and i'll see you in like 30 minutes once they're completely cooled a few moments later amazing all of these have cooled off the second batch turned out way more even now next step is the filling it says in the recipe we can fill it with whatever filling we like but i'm gonna use a simple whipped cream with some vanilla paste so i'll move these away get a bowl in it we'll add like 200 ml of heavy whipping cream actually let's make it 300 so that was a fucking lie then goes in about two tablespoons of powdered sugar you can use regular sugar works fine also and we could whip this by hand but hell nah brother use a stand mixer or just any mixer and whip until stiff peaks form move the mixer all around until you see it thicken up it's shooting everywhere but it's fine we'll clean it off oh and forgot add in a teaspoon of either vanilla extract or vanilla paste there we go let's continue whipping it's starting to thicken up it's not gonna shoot everywhere now yeah look at that it's way thicker now it's almost done scrape off everything off the corner don't over whip it this is pretty good as you can see it needs just a little bit more there we go yeah this is peak whipped cream great suck on the whisk i'm joking don't do that now let's get a piping bag with a wide tip attachment and let's fill these beautiful beautiful pastries with whipped cream let's hope it holds up if not well i don't know what i will do oh my god it ripped like in half Shit. oh my god look at that look at that close the piping bag let's get to work baby but before we start piping i forgot make some cuts on the bottom of each puff pastry do an x or a plus sign i don't know whatever you think is this yeah just cut it like so and like so continue with every pastry do not cut yourself and we are done right now great so push it in and let's pipe oh it's spilling not good yeah my piping bag is broken look at the side it's all fucked up oh my god it ripped what am i gonna do fuck shit okay crisis team i'm gonna put this in the fridge while i figure out what to do with the broken piping bag i need a goddamn replacement Found a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna try and do magic with it. Let's cut the corner a little bit at first. There we go. And get our piping tip through. Does look promising, okay? Let's do this! Filled it with cream. Let's continue our job. It started to spill a little bit. Just a little bit. Wait, that's it. Let's take our next batch and let's fill the piping bag again. Repeat the process. These ones will definitely go to the bottom. They're all flat and shit. Once you feel that the bag starts to be getting pushed, you know, it's full. I hope we don't run out of the whipping cream. A few moments later. 
Well, this is it. We ran out of cream. Maybe make like 350 mil of whipping cream. Or just use a good piping bag that doesn't leak. Ain't nobody got time for that. And you know what? We are almost done. Let's get all of our cream pastries over here. And now the most dangerous part, caramel. I'll get a plate ready. And now let's go to the stove top to make the caramel. Making caramel is very, very easy. Turn on the heat on the stove and pour in a cup of sugar and quarter cup of water. Now try to not touch it as much as possible. You can move the pot, but don't touch it with a spatula so it doesn't crystallize. What's the point of even being alive <laughs> if we can't do this? Right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil this sugar and water mixture until it turns amber color and then we're gonna immediately remove it from the heat and pour it into like a dipping container which is gonna be a bowl and then we're gonna use protection like rubber gloves so we don't get the molten caramel on our fingers. Okay, I start seeing bubbles. Come here, you can see bubbles starting to come. Now just wait, no more white spots. Now it's just a waiting game. Also, don't worry, we will clean the pot afterwards. You can check it out in this video right here. Usually it doesn't take that long. Maybe I'm colorblind, I don't know. It's still goddamn transparent, what the hell? You can use like a brush also with a bit of water, brush off the sides, so like so. As you can see, it's all crystal, so might have just fucked it up, I don't know, dude. I can smell it and see it turning a bit brown, so I'll put the camera down and I'll pour in all of it into a heatproof bowl once it's a bit more amber. It is a bit amber and now just pour it out to a heatproof bowl. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Be very careful, it's death liquid. And now get a glove and start dipping and building our tower. Since the caramel is still very hot, be very, very careful. I'll add a bit on the bottom, like so, and take another one and continue. I'll make it a bit closer because not gonna be a huge tower, I can already see. So dip rough side up, a little bit on the bottom, so the pastry sticks. I think it's time to build the second layer. Just leave a little bit of glue, try to stick it on. Also, you can make like a cone inside from paper, like that, and start building side of that. Oh yeah, it's stuck on my finger. If the caramel becomes too hard, you can always put it in a microwave for it to heat up again. So what I do is just drip a little bit of that sugar. Oh shit, let it drip on the bottom, like so, and then stick our building blocks that are starting to fall down. Don't do that, please. Pretty please. The sugar, I'll put it in a microwave. Ooh, the bowl is hot. There we go, fresh out of microwave. It's hot again, so we can continue. I can immediately tell that this is not gonna be a pretty tower or crook and bush. I'm gonna, oh shit. Okay, these ones are failed ones. I'll we'll just leave them here. The pea tower is gonna be like pizza tower. It's gonna be a bit sideways. I'm sorry. Let's do one more on top. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. And come on, stick, stick, please. Yes. Now, get a fork, quick. With the fork, I'm gonna take this almost hardened caramel and drizzle it like so with everywhere. Like it should be like honey consistency. And we're gonna make these, I don't know, is it webs? caramel everywhere i think we're done we finished it that's it spent a whole day doing this holy moly you know what? If this isn't a success, I don't know what success is. I think I did it. It's not very pretty. <laughs> I'll be honest. Again, it looks like a pizza tower. It's leaned over on one side. But dude, with a couple of failures, we did it. Look at that. Look at this beautiful tower of pastries. And it stands on its own. It's pretty f***ing solid. I wouldn't, like, transport it, but it's pretty solid. Mm, sugar. You know what? It's time to begin. But I don't want to ruin it, so what I will do is I'll take the leftover pastry and give it a bite. Mmm, wow, that's very good. Yeah, it tastes amazing. Honestly, it's a 10 out of 10. Is it worth the effort? No. What I mean by that, all of this caramel stuff, it's not worth it. The cream pastries, they're worth it 100%. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video next week. Like and subscribe if you liked it. Peace!